What's up legends? Today is a good day to be a great day and it's about to be a great day because I'm about to show you all of the secrets to making a fire big booty mix intro. I was feeling nice today, so I'm gonna be giving you all the FLP for free in the description below if y'all wanna check out this remake or remake it yourself. And as always, one of the first 10 commenters will win a free custom mashup by me. Anyways, I'll shut up now so we can get into it. One of the main things that has made Big Booty Mixes so famous is their legendary intros. They masterfully combine a few famous songs and a legendary sample to build anticipation and set the mood for the whole mix. It's not as simple as just picking a random sample, dragging it in. Big Booty Mix 11 starts with an Office theme song, a sound that is universally known. Here's the original Office theme song again. And as you can hear, there are a lot of drum, random instruments in there that we don't necessarily want in a remix. So we're gonna use a technique called resampling, where we actually take the original notes of the song and replay them in our own DAW with our own instrument to get the sound we desire. This is great because it allows you to choose what instruments you want and also change the key of the song, which we're gonna need to do here. So to resample the office piano here, I'm gonna go open up a piano. I just chose a piano preset from FL Keys. So we're gonna go into the MIDI right here and we are gonna go open the office MIDI. And these are pretty easy to get. Go up line, look up the office MIDI. You'll be able to find it, download it pretty easily. If you don't know what MIDI is, it's just basically the piano notes from the original song. So we open that up real quick and we get this. Key of the office originally is in G major. The rest of our drop is A flat major. We're just gonna take this whole piano roll and shift it up by one step semitone from G major to A flat major. On when to put stuff in key or how to put stuff in key, go check that up here. Now it's in the key of A flat major, which is what we need it in. So we have our piano there. So we have our piano right here. We're going to record that as a wave file. Go into here. You assign it to the mixer track one. Click this record button. This recording rendered to wave files. Just want this pattern. Start. It's going to record that pad. It's going to be right down here. Drag it in and boom, we have our piano. We have this other sound right here. Sort of this like weird horny harmonica sound. So I recreated that very close to a serum preset. And Serum is in a native FL Studio plugin. We're gonna have to record it a different way. Open up, press record, play the sound real quick. And that's gonna record this little bit. Now we have that sound. I have the project tempo set to 120 BPM because that is what Two Friends starts it off. Here you can see these first four bars. Go at 120 BPM. Our samples are in key and in tempo. We can just drag them in real quick. We pretty much have our beginning of the Big Booty Mix. This original Office theme song is at 170-ish BPM. And so when you play it back at 120 BPM, obviously it's gonna sound slowed down a lot. And that helps build the anticipation that I was talking about earlier. One last thing we're gonna do to start off our intro right here, we're gonna put some reverse reverb on the first note of this big booty sample, just right here at the beginning. Reverse reverb on the first note is a technique used by pretty much anyone doing mashups to help build hype. How we do this, we take the first note of the office. So this is gonna be the first note right here. And what I did is I just dragged it out for a bar here. And then what we're gonna do is record that sound. I'm just gonna open up Edison real quick. We have the sound recorded, drop it in here. To do a reverse reverb, pretty much exactly what it sounds like, we're gonna reverse the note and put reverb on. Here, I'll show you real quick. Open an audio editor, tools, reverse, add some reverb, and then we're gonna reverse it back real quick, drag it in, and now we have our reverse reverb. Boom, you're two friends now. Probably gonna wanna cut it off come up to the first note. So we're just gonna come, kinda cut it off where the P kits around here. And you can mess with the volume a little bit. See, Two Friends has it quieter. This is a good way to mess with volume in and, these in and out buttons right here. And boom, we have a reverse reverb. All right, sweet, now we have a great intro, but we're gonna still need to transition it into a height buildup. And I'm gonna show you how to do that next. And I forgot to mention here, Two Friends actually speeds these samples up just a tiny bit. So basically what you're gonna have to do is you just cut this sample what you wanna do also is make it unique. So that way, when we change the tempo of this, it doesn't change the tempo of that sample as well. Drag it, stretch it, line it up with that, boom. Oh yeah, one last thing. You heard that sound a little weird there. When you stretch the tempo, it actually is gonna change the pitch if it's on this resample mode. So you gotta go in here, change it to auto. 
And we'll do the same for this one as well. All right, to the build-up. The main instrumental used here in the build-up is Good Grief by Bastille Don Diablo remix. The instrumental is actually published online, which is pretty rare for a remix. To introduce this instrumental, we're going to take this first little vocal from Good Grief. Reverse it, reverse it, and add some reverb, and it sounds like together. The Good Grief remix is at 126 BPM. But earlier, we had our Big Booty intro playing at 120 BPM. We're going to speed it up to 126 now. I've already done that, but the same thing applies. You're just going to go stretch and then always make sure you're on auto here. So freaking good. Or not, we're going to let this run for eight bars. This is a nice transition from our famous sample at the beginning into just our typical Big Booty mix. So we use this as kind of an overlay. And these melodies just fit really well together. Make sure to watch the end because I'm about to give you my biggest tip for creating great mashup intros. Anyways, now that we're done with this sample, we start bringing in the lyrics. And we let that run for 16 bars. It's another element that almost every major mashup intro has. I did it in mine, and Two Friends does it in almost every big booty mix. The transition phase would bring it from the slow, sort of more suspenseful part into the more hype part of the mashup. What you want to do is you want to take out all of the instrumentals. We're going to use some FX as like a sweep and impact, and then we're just going to let the acapella ride for about four bars. The silent creates a lot of anticipation, and then we just bring in the instrumental hard, full throttle. From the other way to stay and see smoke and who still standing when it clears and everyone knows I'm in over my head. Such a great intro. From there, we're going to let the rest of Over My Head cable car just ride out. And then for the last eight bars of the buildup, we're going to transition into Call Me Maybe, which is in G major. So we're going to have to pitch it up. 100 cents, one semitone to get to A flat major. And that's pretty much it the whole intro honestly it's not super complicated one more quick thing before i give you all my huge tip is that originally i thought this whole section right here two friends like made it a remix themselves so i was out here driving all these snaps impacts and keys trying to remake it and i got super complicated but then i sort of thought to myself in all my time studying big booty mix i've never seen two friends uh, actually make a remix of a song really usually they'll just use existing instrumentals and manipulate it extremely well and that's what they did here. So using other people's instrumentals is a great way if you're a beginner because you don't have to experiment with too much. It kind of simplifies things. And also it makes mixing and master so much easier because you're not really producing any original sounds. On the other hand, it does significantly limit creativity. And that's why I am trying to move away from Ain't this what they've been waiting for? All right, as promised, here's my huge tip for making better mashup intros. Originally, when I tried to make a intro for my own mashup, Six Inside, I was struggling finding songs to use. I didn't really know that many hype riffs. I mostly just listened to straight up EDM. So what I did is I sort of researched some hype old songs, some hype rap songs, made a playlist about five or 10 songs. I would wake up in the morning, listen to that once or twice, this playlist of five or 10 songs would be the first songs I listened to. And that just gets them in your head for the rest of the day, whatever other songs you're listening to, you're more easily able to relate them back to those songs. That's just the tip for mashups in general you're trying to make a mashup listen to popular acapellas instrumentals you have and you'll be able to more easily come up with ideas thank you guys so much for watching my video as you can see i just got this brand new mic and i'm going to start trying to do weekly videos from now on i'm super excited about that i got a lot of cool remakes some more original stuff's coming so i hope you all enjoy this and i can't wait to see y'all next week